Hey guys, it is me, Hypersorry again. Welcome back to Scum Survival. So currently we're located at the weapons factory, which is located in the Z1 square over here. This place is going to be massive and obviously it's gonna have some weapons because it's called weapons factory. So I'm very excited to go and loot it. All we have to do is just survive this place because for those who didn't know, we are playing with the boosted zombie spawn count and these zombies do 100 times more damage than usual. So they can kill us with just one attack. So we have to be extra careful when we see these zombies as they do kind of a lot of damage. So there you go. This is going to be like this torpedo factory. Factory and already see here a zombie in front of us. So let's get our first kill. Oh, there we go. There's another zombie chasing me. There we go. Let's get it. And also for those who didn't know, I cannot reload the same location twice. So once we are done looting this place, we're going to cross it off the map. And boom, there's already a map with all of the places that I've looted. And yeah, for those curious, my backpack is absolutely empty. We have some more things in the camo jackets, in the Spurman bag. I have some of these screwdrivers because they're kind of useful as maybe we're going to lockpick some stuff. And other... Oh no, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I just clicked the wrong button. Like, total donut. There we go. Let's hide over here. And we have already started getting here some decent loot. Check this out. We've gotten these open fingerless gloves. I mean, these are gloves, but we can sell that stuff. We've gotten some more bullets for us. Let's get those. I'm also going to get a brand new safety pin box. There we go. Let's get that. And here we've also gotten another padlock. And for those who do not know, yes, indeed, you can combine 15 padlocks and then sell an advanced padlock for like 800 cash. So that's why I'm always picking up those padlocks. And now let's hop over here and let's see what this place has to offer. I haven't looted this place that many times. I think I've been here maybe once or twice. Well, there's a zombie over there. I'm going to maybe not shoot it yet. I just want to hop somewhere here and see if I can hide. I want to know if there will be a room, like a panic room or something, just in case if there will be like 10, 20 zombies chasing me. I want to know if there is a panic room. I've already seen a zombie. I want to know if they can get me from over here. Okay, that's it. So I'm pretty certain we are kind of safe here. At least safe-ish. Okay, that's the spice mix. I want to close the door. And as you can see, there are a bunch of zombies. A lot of them have woken up already. There we go. Got the kill through the window. We also kind of got to be careful because once a lot of them come after us, they can start phasing through walls. That has happened in the past. So I just want to be kind of careful. And hey, while we are waiting for all of these zombies to gather, smash that like button on the video if you'd like to see more Scum Survival videos. Thank you for all of your support. You are amazing. And, uh, okay, there's already a schmuck. Let's deal with this guy. And I see actually a few zombies over here. I'm pretty certain there are both of them. There's another guy here. There we go. Let's get the headshot. The, the worst thing that can happen to us right now is if the gun jams, once I open up the door, and if the gun jams, I'm gonna be a gunner. And let's get this one over here, whatever. I'm just gonna risk it, probably. There we go, let's close the door. Actually, there was another zombie here. There we go. We got it. So I have no idea how many kills we've gotten already, like around 10 kills, and we've just started it. We've just started this play. So I wasn't kidding when I said that we were playing with boosted zombie spawn count. There are a lot of zombies here. Let's close the door. I don't even know where to go. I'm kind of scared to go outside right now. Okay, there is a zombie here. There we go. The zombie just came after us. And I think it's more or less quiet-ish. It's not extremely quiet. I'm pretty certain some more zombies can just come after us, but, uh, yeah. I just want to go outside. I want to quickly deal with that zombie, and then we're gonna loot this building as I still haven't looted it yet. There's an ATM. Well, I think that's more or less enough. I think we've killed all the zombies around this place. So now, let's quickly check this place, and let's see if we're gonna get anything decent. Again, this is probably not the main place to loot, but... We are looting everything. And just some more background. The reason why we are looting here everything is because we are playing with boosted zombie spawn counts. So we are running out of bullets kind of quickly. We need to keep buying bullets as every episode there are more and more zombies. So we have to use more and more bullets. So that means we need to get more and more cash in order to survive in this world. And I guess that's kind of cool. We've gotten some baking soda. I don't even know if we can sell it. So yeah, let's try to pick up that baking soda. We've gotten some batteries. I don't think we need those batteries as I don't think they'll be sold for a nice price. We've gotten some pants. Let's close the door, and I guess let's go now to the second floor because we are downloading here the first floor. So hey, let's close the door, and let's go now here to the second floor. I'm gonna assume that it might have a few zombies because that's who's yelling here, I think. Okay, anyone is sleeping? Hello? Those zombies in the bathroom. There we go. We got with it. We, we dealt with that zombie. There we go. Nice. So I think it's time for us to quickly loot this place. A chocolate bar. I think I've just eaten. Before I started the video, I've eaten some cereal here. We've gotten 1,400 or something calories. So I think that might be enough. But at the same time, you know, let's take another bite. Let's eat that chocolate bar that we've just found here. Let's not let it go to waste. We've gotten another padlock, which again, it's kind of a meme at this point. I really maybe don't want to get these padlocks. But again, if we find something better than those padlocks, then maybe I'll drop them. But as of right now, we haven't found anything better and we still have 
bunch of storage in our inventory, so I might as well just <laughs> keep picking up these padlocks. All right, we've gotten something better than these padlocks. We've gotten these hiking boots. So these are like four padlocks, but I'm pretty certain that those hiking boots can be sold for more than just uh, four of those padlocks. We've gotten here a Hunter 85 rifle. I guess let's get it. And maybe we're gonna even drop it in the car because currently I can't really bring it with us. I've gotten some more cash here. Let's get it. We've gotten here a military beanie. Let's get that a fishing hat. So, so far, this place is kind of generous. We've gotten some loot, and maybe we've already hit profit. Like, I don't even know how many bullets we've wasted here. I mean, I had a full magazine. Let's see. I think I have about 10, maybe 15 bullets. We have 16 bullets. So, I wasted only 14 bullets, and definitely we can buy 14 bullets with the items that we've just gotten here. I should have parked the car probably a bit closer, so that's what we're gonna do. We're definitely gonna park that car, but before we do this, let's try to open this chest here. And this is all the loot that we'll be selling, so this chest is already almost full. So, I have filled that stuff in the backpack, and I I am gonna bring this car a little bit closer so this way it'll be easier to bring loot. There we go, I'm gonna park the vehicle. Maybe it's not the best idea, but that's fine. And the reason why I don't like parking cars too close is because zombies can actually puncture your tires, they can destroy your vehicle, and I don't really know if these zombies were here or they have just respawned. There was one zombie, another zombie, whatever, let's get it. We've looted this place, I don't know if I've been at the attic, I don't even know if it's possible to reach it. I didn't see it, doesn't matter. Let's get this shot. And let's see where else we can go. Hopefully no one's gonna come behind us. As that's the only thing that can probably kill us if things start going south, right? But it doesn't really look like anyone's coming from behind us. So let's try to loot another building that looks very similar to the previous building. Let's close the door real quick. I see another zombie sleeping. There we go, let's get that zombie. And... Anything else here? There we go. Everything's locked. Okay, so that's great. Let's try to check this place out and let's see if we're gonna get anything better. We've gotten some more cash. Let's get it. We got some nails and some more zombies outside. How did they get here? Probably from this building. All right, sir. Are you gonna show your head? Or I'll just get it like this without the headshot. It's fine. Who needs a headshot when you can just shoot them in the arm and they're gonna die? Okay, let's go over here. Are they gonna come after us? I have no idea. Let's get some sewing threads. Never gonna say no to those sewing threads as you can repair clothes with that. Okay, so I don't think that there are any more zombies outside. I can hear a zombie sprint on the second floor though. So that's not cool. There we go. Let's try to open the door and let's get it. There we go. Sleep. There we go. That's nice. The zombie went to the other side. <laughs> let's sell this cotton shirt. Let's get these construction boots. Not that bad. We've gotten some of those Cal .30 cartridges. Let's get that. I'm probably not gonna be selling these bullets, so I don't know if I'll be selling all the bullets, but I think the only bullets that I'll be selling as of right now are the Hunter Rifle bullets, as I'm not gonna be probably using that Hunter Rifle anyways, so I might as well just sell those bullets, but I will keep these ones as who knows, maybe one day we'll get like some sort of a gun for it and I'll be able to test it out because my goal is to get more weapons here and obviously test all of them out, because why not? I think that's gonna be fun, but as of right now, we are kind of broke. We don't have that much cash, so the only bullets that I can buy are the nine millimeter bullets so that's why we are using this mp5k and i don't really see any more zombies here perhaps another padlock there we go thank you we've just gotten <laughs> another padlock some more cash and pilot glasses is that it I think that is pretty much it. So let's leave this building. I don't think it's worth it for us to run to the car to deposit that stuff. Let's actually go deeper into this place and let's see what kind of goodies we can find here because it's just the beginning of this torpedo factory. So I'm pretty certain there will be more things. So we've looted both of these buildings over here. We haven't looted that stuff in front of us and then I have no idea what we can find there. But before we go there, let's loot this place real quick. There might be a few zombies. Let's get that. Let's get that. If we are smart about it, I can quickly hop into this place and shoot them in the head before they can even stand up. This way it minimizes the risk. Say so this place didn't have anything special. Let's get that. And another zombie. There we go. We've gotten here a rider helmet. Let's get that rider helmet. We've gotten some more cash. And we've also gotten here some spices mix, but I don't really need that. We don't need that mix here. Would be nice to get a bullet mix. <laughs> I wouldn't say no to that. A weapon mix of some sort. All right, so let's try to hop into this hangar. Okay, so I just saw a zombie drop. Did you see that? Did you see that? I'm pretty certain some of the zombies are gonna stand up. So let's just run away as they're gonna start charging me from... I don't know where. I just think that that's what's gonna happen. I might be mistaken though, but I've heard lots of them wake up. There we go, there's one zombie already chasing us. Let's get it real quick. I don't think anyone's behind us. And I wanna quickly check how many bullets we got left. Let's keep looking in front to see if anyone's coming after us. And we got only one more bullet left, so I think it's time to reload this magazine. There we go. And once we get to a calmer spot, I think I'll be able to reload this weapon. I'll be able to reload the other magazine, I mean. 
So this way I always have an extra magazine in case things go south. Any more zombies here? Okay, so this place is kind of small-ish. I expected it to maybe be a bit bigger. But I assume... Oh no, there we go. It is kind of bigger. It is bigger. There we go. There's another zombie. It is kind of cool that most of them were sleeping. Definitely cool. Oh, that's it. That's that. That's all it is. We've just done a loop in this place. All right, so there we go. Let's start looting it then real quick. We can get here, obviously, some military loot because we can see these military crates. For a second, I thought and maybe I've heard someone outside, but apparently that was just an imagination. It is fine. Okay, so I just keep finding here some scrap metal, some whatever random stuff, paper, more glue. Okay, we don't need that. Let's leave this room and let's go into this other room. So what I usually like to do is run around this place, kill all the zombies and then start looting. As this way, it's much easier. We've gotten some aspirin. Let's get that stuff. We can sell it to the doctor. I don't know for how much. Maybe 50 cash, maybe 100 cash. But whatever is the price, I will get it. Let's also get some of these screwdrivers. All right, so we got this pile of military crates to check out. Okay, so I've just checked out all of those crates and we've gotten nothing. Okay, that's it. So we've looted this room. Understandable. Let's try to leave it. Let's close the door, which doesn't really matter as there's another door here. And there's one more building like that. I'd, that'd be a lie if I said that I'm not really sketched out to loot this building. As it's kind of open, there's nowhere I can hide. And... Yeah, well, at least this building didn't have too many zombies. I expected more, to be honest. Well, that's fine. That's not a problem for me. We've gotten here a hacksaw, and I should get this metal hacksaw. For those who do not know, I think you can sell it for a few hundred cash. At least a hundred, I guess. So, it is worth it. I've sold a few of those hacksaws, and they're pretty decent. Maybe even 230 cash. I think it obviously depends on the durability. But that was a pretty high durability hacksaw, so it'll be worth it for sure. And there we go. I've just checked this other building, and it had nothing. It is weird. Some smaller boxes have better loot than these military boxes. That is very weird. There we go. We've looted those things. There's another building. I mean, we can probably up in it. I think zombies are going to start charging at us. I should have reloaded the bullets while I had the chains. Definitely. What a... How about I come here? There we go. Let's close the door. I'm pretty certain lots of zombies are going to wake up. They might start uh, start gathering outside. That's good. Let's get this thing. So let's drop the tourniquet in the backpack. And let's see if we're going to get anything else. We've gotten a crutch, but it's kind of big. So I'm not taking it. Like, no matter the price, I don't think it's going to be like 1,000 cash. Maybe we can sell it for a few hundred cash, but it's not worth it. I don't even think it's going to be a few hundred cash. I think it's going to be like 150 cash maximum. So, And it takes a lot of space. So I don't think it's worth it to take it with us. So I don't see anything. Okay, there is a zombie down there. I see it actually. Let's come back here, schmuck. Stop moving, show your head. There we go, I got it. So let's try to quickly put back the gun and let's try to reload that other magazine that we had. Where did I put it? There we go, there's the magazine. Let's add it and let's try to quickly load it up. And there's one more thing I haven't checked. I need to check how many bullets we have in this pistol because it's always faster to use your sidearm than reloading. And there we go, we have loaded up this magazine. Let's put it over here and let's check how many bullets we got in this pistol. Please tell me we got at least something. We got three out of 15. Definitely not worth it. Well, then let's load up all of these magazines and let's go outside. That's it. We're going to be loaded up. So in case a bunch of zombies come after us, things go south. At least I'll have something to protect myself with. There we go. We are ready. Let's get this. I'm pretty certain we still have here about at least 20 bullets. Maybe we have 17 bullets. Well, I was almost right. So that's fine. We don't need to reload that. I don't know if there are zombies outside or inside or where do i look or what do i do cannot close this door we're gonna loot the first floor later maybe let's go to the second floor first as i'd like it to be quiet i prefer the peace there let's open up the door and i assume there will be a zombie here did you see that i missed a few shots how's that possible three four shots for a simple zombie like that unbelievable well, it was obviously my fault as I did miss lots of those shots. So 17 bullets can be usually enough for 17 zombies. But if I keep blasting these shots like that, obviously it won't be enough. We've gotten here some more cash. Just by looting this place, we've already gotten here 289 cash. So we've gotten that stuff even without selling anything. So let's go back here to the first floor and let's quickly swoop through the first floor. We've gotten here another small toolbox. It can fit here. Maybe we'll bring it to the vehicle. Don't really know if it's... Don't really know if I need it. I think I already have a bunch of toolboxes. Is this zombie alive? Uh, oh, yeah, I did get those zombies. We came through the window and I've gotten them. Yes, indeed, I remember that. Let's get another sewing thread. And maybe let's stop picking up those sewing threads as I think I got a lot of them. Okay, this zombie is dead. I obviously got it. That zombie's dead. 
We got both of these kind of hangers or whatever they are. Another zombie has woken up. Oh, there we go. There's the dude. I see a few of these schmucks. I want to go outside a bit. There we go. Let's get this schmuck. There we go. Let's probably reload while I have the time for it. Okay, that wasn't what I expected. That wasn't what I signed up for. There we go. We've gotten a few more zombies. Decent. Kind of cool if you ask me. There we go. That's peace and quiet now. <laughs> it's peaceful. It is quiet. Let's maybe open up this door. Oh, that's like two buildings in one because they look kind of connected. But there is no wall between them. Okay, I get it. So let's quickly swoop to this place. Let's turn it upside down and let's see if we'll get anything good. What I'd love to get is a new MP5 because I've got this MP5K and I cannot attach an improvised light for it for some reason. I don't know why. But it just doesn't let me do it. Will any of these zombies chase me? I have no idea. Maybe I should close the door. I don't know if I trust them. Oh, wow. How did they come after me? How did they get here? Well, whatever. I got them. I got these schmucks. Let's quickly loot some of these boxes. So it might look like these boxes are just pointless. But okay, first of all, we've gotten here this airplane repair kit. Let's get that. And uh, in these boxes, we can also find some screwdrivers. So I wouldn't mind getting those. Okay, so instead of the screwdrivers, we've gotten this advanced lockpick. Let's get that advanced lockpick. We won't need to get any bobby pins, but still, I'd rather get a screwdriver. Another airplane repair kit. It is five kilos, so it is kind of heavy. It's not going to fit in my tactical pants or anywhere else. But what we could do... Wait, I can fill it, fit this thing in my camouflage jacket. We can get this other airplane repair kit over here. Let's get it. I don't even know if airplanes are in the game now. Maybe yes, maybe no, because developers added those modular cars. So I don't even know if airplanes are in the game. But I think we're just going to sell these airplane repair kits. I think we've gotten another thermometer. I still haven't sold the other one that's in the car, so... We'll have to definitely sell it. And let's see if this place has anything else to offer. I think there's also a second floor. So from the outside, this building looked kind of smaller. Once you enter it, it looks kind of small. But then, hey, there is a second floor, so it's not that small. Maybe some of these zombies have woken up from the second floor. That's why they were making all of that noise. Nothing here. More batteries. Duct tape and obviously more of the those <laughs> padlocks. These padlocks are gonna become a meme. So I think we've looted this building. Let's get that all from here. And our inventory is filled to the brim. So yeah, we've looted this building, this one, these four buildings over there. And maybe this is going to be kind of the main place. So I kind of want to go and check that out. And I'm pretty certain some of the zombies have already respawned. Let's quickly see how many bullets we got left. We got 21 bullets over here. And do I have another magazine with bullets? So while it's relatively quiet here, let's load up another magazine. And I can see some of the zombies have already respawned. I see a zombie over there, a zombie somewhere there-ish. Well, there we go. I've loaded up the magazine, so let's get this thing. And my dude is thirsty again. Oh, it's because we are using this gear here. So for those who didn't know, I'm wearing this camouflage jacket. And the only reason I'm doing that is because it has some storage. Otherwise, I would have dropped it. And my character is constantly sweating with that jacket, but it does have some storage, and I want to kind of use it. So let's take here a few sips of water. I'll take one. Maybe let's get another sip of water. And let's run to the vehicle. Let's drop all the loot, and then let's go to the main place, and let's try to loot the rest of the buildings here. I think I haven't looted that stuff yet, so there's still a bunch of things to loot. How about I go over here, I get this weapon, I'll make some noise, perhaps. There we go, let's close the door, and we'll see what we can do in this place. Hopefully they can't kill me, hopefully they're not gonna face through this place. We've gotten here two padlocks. I think that was a stupid idea, now I regret it. I honestly regret it, I should not have done that. As it's gonna be, they're gonna be on the rooftop and now I'll die. There's also a beeping zombie here. That was one of the most stupid ideas I could have done, unless I can shoot them through the walls. There's also a beeping zombie coming after me. Well, I'm gonna just lay down, that's it. That was a terrible mistake, ladies and gents. Let's sort of hope that things are not gonna go south. I should not have done that, that is stupid. These zombies can damage you through walls and we might actually die right now. I'm like... 80% certain that I'll get damaged and maybe like 60% certain that I'll die. Any moment the dude's just gonna go poof and maybe it's also gonna kill those other zombies. Maybe. Ooh, we've got a zero damage. This is decent. This is actually decent. I don't really know if they're on the rooftop or not. What we could do though, maybe let's drop this backpack real quick, guys. We, we, we have to do something about it. Let's get this thing over here. Let's drop the camel backpack 
on the ground right now and let's go outside. Let's get it. And let's see if it's fine. Okay, so it's peace and quiet. That's nice. So the zombie has exploded over here. It sounded as if it was around that place. Okay. So let's get this backpack. For those who didn't know, the reason why I dropped it, I mean, it's kind of obvious, but my character runs faster with that backpack. Without the backpack. I have no idea how many bullets we got left. I should probably check that out. We got 17 bullets. That's fine. Plus, we got another magazine. And I'm gonna assume that this place is gonna have a bunch of other zombies. Unless I've gathered some of them with that shot, maybe. Yeah, it doesn't really look like there are any more zombies here, so it's fine. Let's drop this loot here and let's go back and let's loot the main place. And check this out. This is all the loot that we'll be selling. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of padlocks. Maybe we can even craft two of those advanced locks and we'll be able to get like 1,600 cash for it. All right, so we've looted all of these buildings. These buildings. The buildings over there. Those two buildings. I think some of them have respawned here. The zombies have definitely respawned, so I'm just gonna avoid that place. Don't really want to go there. Let's go into this main place as that's where we'll get the best loot possible, probably. Let's just try to find a way on how to enter this place. Okay, so I already see how we're gonna enter it. Let's do that, and there we go. Let's start checking it out. I don't know what we're gonna get here. I still don't know where's the main place to loot. I usually come from that side. I never came from the other side. I think I've looted this place maybe twice, and I usually come from this side. Okay, so I see a bunch of these uh, hangers, so those things are gonna be probably main places to loot. A zombie has just exploded. But yeah, we've gotten this basic compass. We can sell it. We've gotten this M1911 gold. We can sell that as well. We could also obviously disassemble that stuff for parts, but I think selling it is a bit better. We've gotten here a carbon hunter magazine. We're gonna sell that as well as, as, as I said, we're not gonna use that hunter rifle. It is pretty bad no matter what kind of magazine you put in it. All right, so I'm kind of surprised why this place is kind of calm. Maybe zombies haven't spawned here because they have respawned on that side, but maybe they haven't respawned here. Maybe I'm just speaking too soon. Maybe there are still a bunch of zombies. I don't know. In any case, we've gotten a military shirt. I can probably quickly repair it and then we'll sell it to the military guy there. We've gotten here a raincoat that can probably be repaired and sold again for some cash, maybe 50 cash, maybe 100 cash. I don't know, but whatever's the price, I'll sell it. Here, we've gotten here another military shirt. Let's get it. Let's try to repair it. But this place is oddly too quiet. I do believe that maybe a bunch of zombies have respawned on that other side, but then these zombies didn't respawn on this side here, which is kind of weird. But I usually say that and then I hear them wake up. So I still think that maybe there are some zombies. Zombies. There we go. I've just repaired some sort of a hat. And let's see what other goods we can find here. Oh, we've got night vision goggles. I'm definitely equipping them here on my head here right now. There we go. Let's get them. And if I'll ever need to use them, I'll be able to use them. That's nice. I want to have these night vision goggles. I wanted to find them. They are pretty rare. I wish that maybe those night vision goggles were a bit more common because in a lot of games, they are some. there are some night vision goggles, but... They are so rare that you almost never get them. And same thing in Scum Survival, the night vision goggles are pretty hard to come by. Like I have 300 something hours, like I think I'm closing in on 400 hours in Scum Survival and I rarely find those night vision goggles. I think I found them maybe like three, four, five times total. But hey, they're kind of cool. Once you have night vision goggles, you can kind of play during the night. Here, we've gotten here another beanie. Let's get it. More night vision goggles. I've just spoken on how I cannot find those night vision goggles. There we go. We got them. So I think I can sell this other pair. Plus, it's 100% durability. So it'll be sold for a nice, nice price. Plus, we can repair those night vision goggles, I think, with maybe toolboxes and another pair of night vision. God, this is the game can hear me. I'm pretty certain the game can hear me because that's not normal. I've just gotten three pairs of night vision goggles just in one spot. Go on a fourth pair then. Give me a fourth pair. I have never found that many night vision goggles. We found another screwdriver. Let's get it. So far, I haven't seen a single 40 out of 40 durability screwdriver. I want to find that huge screwdriver. But I still haven't found it. All right. So this is the place where they have those mech robots. And again, for those who didn't know, this place is probably supposed to have some mech robots. But I've turned them off because... I'd prefer to have more zombies than mech robots, as I think zombies are more fun. As there's nothing you can do against those mech robots, they're just shooting you. They have like that auto aim, they'll just snipe you and... I don't like them. There's the beeping guy, maybe I'll just wait for it to explode. And there we go, the zombie has just exploded, that's nice. And lots of them have woken up, we've gotten a military quiver that I need to take. <laughs> the bullets. So I said that hey, this place is quiet. There are no zombies. Well, guess what? A bunch of those schmucks are there. There we go. Let's get a headshot. Another headshot. I'm pretty certain more of these schmucks are gonna come through. I cannot fit this military quiver. It doesn't 
fit anywhere. Let's quickly get perhaps these screwdrivers. Wait, not the... There we go. Let's put that stuff over here. And now we can fit this military quiver inside of the camo jacket. Lovely. We've gotten another M9 magazine that I can take with me and sell it later. There we go. That's going to be nice. So I think the loot in this place is already better. We've gotten another car repair kit. Kind of don't have a lot of space for it. Let's get a headshot. And we kind of have already like three or four car repair kits in the car. But I also feel like we can sell a car repair kit for a nice price. Maybe 1,000 cash. Maybe, maybe 300 cash. I don't know. I know that they're not that expensive, though. Like, you would think that car repair kits are gonna be more expensive, but they're not really that expensive. But I still think they can fit their way. Oops, uh, let's get the advanced lockpick here. And uh, somehow, some way, we're gonna get this thing. There we go. Let's put that over here. And we've gotten a raincoat. Let's try to repair that raincoat. And the inventory is failed, so I'll have to run back to the car, but that means more zombies are probably gonna respawn. So I don't know if I like that. Maybe I'll drop here some things on the ground, like I'll drop this military quiver and I'll drop some loot in that military quiver, and then I'm gonna drive here with a vehicle and I'll pick it up. Maybe that sounds maybe like an idea, but I don't know if I'll do it. Okay, the zombies just stood up. I don't know if there are any more zombies here. Probably there are. Carbon Hunter. Let's get that Carbon Hunter. We've gotten a Hunter Suppressor. I think we can even attach it. Wait, there we go. Let's put that over here and let's attach that Suppressor on the weapon and then we'll be able to sell it. Oh, it doesn't fit on it. It's a different Hunter Suppressor. Okay. Let's get that Suppressor then in our Spermon bag and let's get this thing in our hands. And let's see how many bullets we got left. Five maybe? 12, okay, that's still a decent amount of bullets. Still no need to reload the magazine yet. We're just getting some more hats and other stuff, which is decent. We'll be able to start spraying the weapon with all the bullets that we'll buy. Okay, nothing here. And there's this other room with a bunch of zombies, I assume. Let's go to the second floor and let's see if any zombies were here. Oh my goodness. Where is the schmuck? I don't see it anymore. Oh my goodness! How did he get here? It just probably came upstairs through this way, but how did it happen so quick? That did, like, legit scare me. That did legit scare me. I didn't expect that the dude's gonna come after me so quickly. I've gotten some crackers, and I'm kind of running low on food, so you know what? Maybe I am gonna get these crackers. Why not? Okay, this thing would be awesome if we could open it up. That'd be such a nice place to loot. But apparently that ain't happening. We're not gonna loot that place. I think I've looted everything. Okay, I haven't looted this place yet. Oh, another screwdriver. Yeah, we definitely have to go back to the vehicle because look at this. Our inventory's filled. There's nothing else I can do. We can get rid of some of the things that are kind of worse than those screwdrivers, like that fisherman's hat. As I think it can only be sold for like 10, 20 cash, so it's not really that huge of a loss. But totally, before we continue looting this place, we have to go back to the car and drop some things and maybe even drive with the vehicle here. Maybe? Because that's... Oh, no, don't break the legs. Wait. Okay, let's get the headset real quick. There we go. That's nice. Let's quickly see how many bullets we got. Maybe seven, four only. So I think it's time for us to reload it. Definitely. Let's loot the bottom floor and then let's drive here with a vehicle. I think that's what I'll do. That will be my goal here. Ooh, this place is like a weapon. We've gotten an M16A4 folding site. Let's get it. And let's see if we'll find anything useful here. We've got an M1911 magazine. That stuff will be sold as well for a nice price. I don't even know what we could get rid of. I mean, this beanie. Let's get rid of the beanie and let's get this magazine. I'm pretty certain the magazine can be sold for a better price. We've gotten here another tactical handgun holster, which doesn't fit in my inventory anymore. What else do we have here? We got some more bullets, another magazine, and that is pretty much it. Okay, so I think we can probably fit those things somehow, some way if I try really hard. I can stack some of these bullets. I can get some 9mm tracer bullets. I'm gonna drop some of these padlocks, even though these padlocks are decent. So somehow, some way, I'm just sorting out my inventory here. I'm gonna drop the hat, and now we can take this thing with us. There we go. That's way better. Let's get those probably two padlocks. So now, guys, check this out. This is our full inventory. This is what we got over here, and this is what we got over here. So I'm gonna drop everything here in the vehicle, and then we're gonna come back, and we'll continue looting these buildings. Because I'm still sure there are lots of things that I haven't taken here. Like, for sure. I know a zombie has woken up. Sleep. I can hear another zombie that has just woken up. We've gotten here some of these bullets. Okay. 
I got it. Kind of cool. Glad that I heard it. Glad that I saw it before it could see me. <laughs> okay, there's another zombie sleeping here. So I'm still not going to the vehicle because there are a few more boxes to loot. So I want to see if there's anything super valuable that I have to absolutely take. And I haven't really found anything crazy besides like some hunter bullets. So I'm just going to leave them. All of those zombies have respawned there already. So how about I go through the other side? Maybe let's go in the vehicle and let's go through the other side as I don't want to refight those zombies again. Oh no, there's a beeping guy coming after me here right now. Wow. There go. There's the beeper. There's the beeping guy. There we go. There we go. And there's another beeping guy over there. There we go. There we go. I don't think anyone else is chasing us. So let's go towards that vehicle and then let's drive around this place. So there's another zombie over there. Let's probably get it. There we go. We got it. I think it's somewhat peaceful. So let's probably sort our inventory. Let's drop all of the loot. Let's sell all of it if it's even going to fit. First of all, let's get this military quiver and let's drop some stuff in that military quiver. Like these weapons. There we go. We filled up this military quiver with other military stuff. So we'll be able to sell that stuff to the military guy. So before we go there to fight, I think let's get these MP5 weapon parts. Let's try to repair our MP5 over here. There we go, that's way better. So I don't really know what happened, but I have lost my MP5 magazine. I've checked that other box, I don't have it. I've checked the box that I intend to sell and I still don't have it here. So I have no idea where I've dropped that MP5 magazine. Maybe my inventory was full and during reloading, I dropped that magazine. Probably that's what happened. So I drove around this place and now we're gonna enter this torpedo factory from this side. So let's sort of loot perhaps here one more building. And I can see an insane amount of zombies. So the problem is I've lost my magazine, so I don't want to get into trouble. But I think I know what I might do. I might just do this. I'll get that. And that's it. And I'll start running. And I'll start running. I'll start running over here. And then I'll start shooting them. There we go. That's the only thing that I can probably do now. It's like an insane amount of zombies. Right, so let's get that beeper. There are a bunch of these schmucks. There we go. Let's try to get them because I think that's the only way and how I'll be able to clear this place. Because if I go there with a silenced weapon, there's nothing that I'll be able to do. I wish I could reload this magazine, but I don't have another one. I mean, I don't need to reload it yet. There we go. Let's get these schmucks. Got one of them. Gonna get another one of them kind of soon. There we go. And I think it's time for us to quickly load up the weapon. There we go. Let's reload this magazine. As I don't have another one, so we need to either find it or go to the traders and buy one more. I should have bought spare magazines, but it didn't. Well, whatever. Just reloaded this weapon. And I think that should be pretty decent. I think we've dealt with most of the zombies around this place. So if there will be any, there will be definitely more manageable. And let's hop into one... Of the buildings. I've heard a zombie here. Oh, there we go. There's the one. There is the dude. Oh, wow. Another padlock. How awesome. Let's get that padlock. Let's sort of hop over here. Where there's the beeping guy. Ooh. The dude was sleeping? Those beeping guys can actually sleep. I didn't know that. I kind of want to run away a bit. As, uh, yeah, we never know what's going to happen. I see a few of these schmucks. There we go. That's a bit better. I still think we have about 20 bullets. So I don't think I have to reload. At least I hope not. There we go. We've gotten some padlocks. We've gotten glasses. So let's get all of those things. Oh, another zombie sleeping. Missed it! Missed it again! Oops. We've gotten another waste bag. Let's get that waste bag. Let's try to repair it and we'll be able to sell that stuff. Again, for a pretty penny. It's suddenly one more building, but I actually want to go and check out a few more buildings. I see some more loot. This place has lots of stuff. I want to loot all of these things. Maybe there will be something useful. Okay, we've gotten some gloves. We've got uh, beanies and uh, 762 ammo. Let's get that. Again, as I said, we're not selling it. I'm going to save that ammo for something better. I am, however, going to sell the shotgun cartridges as I don't need them. I'm not going to use a shotgun. Using shotguns when there are that many zombies, it's pointless. It's better to use a pistol. It's better to use a bow. Like, everything's going to be better than a shotgun when you play against that many zombies. Okay, got another zombie. Got another zombie. Oh, there's a beacon zombie there. There we go. Got it. We've gotten a Desert Eagle magazine. Let's sell it. I can hear a zombie here. Okay. Okay. I definitely heard it. I heard the footsteps, but I wasn't sure what it was. It was hidden behind the boxes. There's one more zombie. 
there we go. Another nice shot. We should definitely think about reloading the stuff. We've gotten another hiking backpack to sell. These bullets. Let's quickly unpack them. I need to drop them here. I need to unpack them. There we go. We're gonna sell these .22 caliber bullets. We've gotten some more clothes. Let's sell those. More ammo. Let's join that. And let's see how many bullets we got. At least 10 maybe. 15. Okay, that's definitely enough. Half of the magazine. Totally enough. We've gotten some antibiotics. I should get those. We're gonna sell them. We've gotten some painkillers. Let's get those. You know what we're gonna do with that stuff. We're gonna sell them. We've gotten a military compass. These things are awesome. They sell for easily a few hundred cash. So there are still a few more buildings that I haven't checked out yet, but my car is kind of getting too full right now. I need to start selling things. Like, I'm not even kidding. Check it out. This is the box here. And obviously, I can probably store some clothes inside of this hiking backpack. So that's what I'll do. But I would really love to sell everything that we have here. And we also have a box dedicated for these random bullets. So let's probably stack them. There we go. Let's start saving up these random bullets. And you know what we could do? We could probably craft some of those advanced locks. So let's pick up all of these locks. And let's craft an advanced lock out of these padlocks. And there we go. Let's craft this in four slots. So I have no idea how many of them we can craft one or two. Because it takes 15 of those padlocks. That's kind of a lot of padlocks. And I can't cannot craft the second one because apparently we don't have enough. And now let's try to repair this padlock. So what we have to do is put it on the car. We can lock it. Now we can remove the lock and the lock is going to be at 100% durability. And on top of that, I've lost my second magazine. So I'm kind of scared to go and continue looting this place as with one magazine, it is really sketchy. So let's try to leave this place and psych from the future, cross off this place, off the map. We've got an insane amount of loot today. I cannot wait to sell it. We need to buy another magazine for that MP5K. But we're going to do that stuff in the next episode. So subscribe and I missed that video. And I highly suggest you check it out my The Long Dark Let's Player. Click here on the second card and you'll go to my Days Gone Let's Player. Hop over to my channel, go to Playlist, and there you'll find a lot of the games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop a subscribe button and the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm-hmm. Yup.